Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. In order for you to believe your eyes and not fiction, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton and we're getting started. My name is Alex Morton and this is Ghost Facers. <laughs> oh. Wait, this is not... I'm not playing this. Bastard. This looks cool. I see screen tearing though. Do you guys see screen tearing? I searched all the corners but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in the houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and the missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food. Okay! Okay. This dude is not scared of anything, huh? I am. He's hammering shut the door. Oh, he's fucked. Oh no! I busted my lipstick. Shit. Whoa, that's a big achievement. What does it say? Can anyone read Russian in chat? Bagnari here? I can't read it. Hobbies? We'll hear it in the YouTube comments afterwards otherwise what it all says. Fuse is blown. No lighting in the building. Okay. Oh! Kinda dark. Can I break this? Why were you breathing so deeply? <sighs> oh! <sighs> My nose is freeing up a bit. Picture of a house. Oh, a lighter. Take it. Can I read that? Can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Shit. Well, where's your dictionary, bud? Can we use the lighter? He, d he did bring a flashlight, right? Oh, this is creepy already. And it's daytime. Okay, we need a dictionary. Oh, toys. A light switch? Hmm. Maybe that'll be important later on. Oh, Jesus. Did someone feed cats here? I thought you said no one came in here. Oh. Well, at least you could. No, it is boarded up. I was gonna say you can probably bust that open if you're if you're desperate enough, but I can't bust this open. So 
It's too dark. You can't see a single thing. What am I hearing? What was that? Someone at the door? Hmm. Wait, he says I have to get my dictionary. Where's your bag? Is it here? Sleeping bag? Oh, this is a dictionary. Is that a flashlight? Oh, scan. Ah! Hold down middle mouse, E, zoom. Okay. Let's see if we can read this bit. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Huh. This wasn't there yet was before, was it? Playground? Do I have batteries? Doesn't look like it. That would be great. Oh, mech kit. Now let's see what's in this corridor that we couldn't see. Little babushka? Oh. Paint a doll. Pioneer grows up brave and is not afraid of difficulties. Hmm. Just playground pictures. I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for be not being able to stop this. Hmm. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone running around. Wasn't there a second thing we we could read? Hello? Just creepy bunny man. Okay. So. Oh, maybe we can translate this now. New successes in space. Oh, maybe this is Okay. Was it this? Wait. Nothing changed. Oh. The bunny is gone. Sirens in the background. That's cool. Need to look for candles. Really? See any candles, anyone? Oh, 
Candles. Thank you, cats. Huh. Okay, so we have the candles. God, are ca these couple candles all the light that you're gonna get? Why didn't you bring any candles then? You know you were gonna spend the night here for a while. Oh, there we go. How do I do that? Done! I thought I, thought I said dope! <laughs> now it needs to prepare for the night. Oh god. Oh god. Do I still have my camera? Where's my camera? The lighter is there. Why would you- why would you empty your inventory, dude? I need these things. Can't see. Where's your camera, bro? Oh, it's set up. Dude, how- god. Who in his right mind goes to a place like this on his own? Oh, bird. Did he get in through the window? Oh, there's tons of birds. Hmm. Creepy! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Was that there the whole time? Jesus. Oh, is that the letter? You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate, and I will give my shoes in return. That doesn't rhyme. It should rhyme. Are we gonna find a mirror? Oh no. Oh no. I don't like this. Why are we here? That was definitely on a window. Is that a fuse? Can't get it though. I thought I saw something. That was a door. There's most definitely a door somewhere. In ni- oh god. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, and no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. I really don't like these sounds. Definitely heard steps. There's people in these buildings, dudes. Do you even have a a weapon or something? Like a taser would be great. Cuz what if 
What if it's an actual person that's like, you're in my territory, bitch. And if you get attacked or something. Oh, there's the bunny again! I found the bunny. Can I take the bunny? Oh, the door closed. Oh, it's locked. Wouldn't that be enough proof already? A door that was open was closed. I'd be like, yep, I'm out of here. This is all the proof I need. Bye. Do you think the bunny is gone? It is! Where'd he go? What are we gonna do? Do we need to find something? We already read that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Holy fuck. <laughs> Excuse me? Who was that? Wait. That little girl carried you all this way? I need to find my camera. Yes, you do. Do you even have all your things? Pigeon. Hi. <laughs> oh, we lost our dictionary too. Dude, that's one hell of a dictionary. It's like you have uh, Google Translate with you. Oh, we're in this room. Okay. My camera. Get it. Get that. And then read that. You're not welcome here. Well, spent one night here. Time to go. Who's breathing? Who's breathing? Is that us? I definitely heard breathing. Crows are gone. Someone had a snack. Do you think the scares will like f free up my sinuses? Maybe that's what I have to do every time I get a cold or just get stuffed sinuses. I need to play a horror game. That's pretty loud. <sighs> now I want to look at the source of sound. So, oh, it's probably behind the in the corner of that hallway. That must stink so bad. Director of the Pioneer Camp, Yunost, Maria Anna Toliv... What? Maria Anna disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. 
She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted the children, their children, to her. Uh huh. What's that evil-looking book? Can't get it. Be clean, neat, pioneer, show an example in everything. Ugh, just can't get enough breath through my nose. I keep thinking this is a page, but it's just a bit of light. Can I read this one? No. So where am I supposed to find... Aren't we... Planning on finding a fuse or something? Because we wanted to get the lights fixed, right? I don't really see anything, though. Oh, doesn't work. I need to find the fuse. Huh. So there's something I need to find here that I haven't found. I thought I was pretty thorough, but... Oh, there's light bulbs there. <laughs> Those sounds. Take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Okay. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. You <laughs> I was gonna say, you got it! <laughs> Jesus. There you go. <laughs> Didn't expect that in daytime. You wanna put the fuse in? Turn on the light. Where's the switch for it? It's not in there. Why wouldn't you have left already at this point? Did we read this? Investigation underway on the disappearance of children and employees in the UNOS Pioneer Camp. Oh, that was under leadership of Mariana. Okay. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. Hmm. How do we turn to- oh, do we need to put a- No. Do you have a camera? Oh, you do. I don't really know how to turn on the light. Is there like- oh, maybe it's the switch in the back. Turn that off. Oh, a grate. Hmm. Is there anything here we couldn't read? Huh. Yay! Could have slept in one of the beds. Ugh. That would have been extra creepy. Someone would just come to your bed at night being like, Shh, psst, you're in my bed. That would be scary. Well, here we go. Sleep. Oh, my nose is opening up. Night number two. How are you not- someone knocked you the fuck out the first night. How are you not out of this place? Clock stopped at 3.07. Do you wanna grab some light bulbs? Yep, you do, huh? No. Later. Grab your camera. Beep boop beep! Okay, do I have my dictionary on me? I'm not sure. 
So, where are we gonna go this time? Should we check in here? The radio is on. That's dark. That's really dark. Oh god. Jesus. Oh. Oh, she's still there. I don't know if she's supposed to be. I guess so. That one hurt my shoulders. Jesus. I don't know if it's like above here or... Hello? Okay. Fuck! That's creepy. That wasn't there before indeed. It's locked. We need to find a tiny key. Maybe it's in this one. Oh, that scared me. I forgot when you examine items the thing goes off. I was like, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Oh, get a light bulb, get a light bulb. Thank God we have night vision. What's that water? What is that? Oh, it stopped. What are you? What? Oh, another box? Oh no, something is leaking. From right above us. <laughs> what was it? What was it? Oh, everything's gone. Oh. It's big now. It's moving! It's moving. What are we gonna do? We have- we literally have nowhere to go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? How many more times are you gonna scare the fuck out of me? Jesus. Do I need to fix the light? No? Okay. <laughs> the bunny man. He's back. He's back. Fuck.
I heard him in a different corner this time. Oh, I don't like that. I need to find a key. F I need to find a key for the box. Oh, I didn't close the door. What is it? Nothing, literally nothing changed. Yeah, my nose is opening up. <laughs> I didn't even... I didn't even see what you wanted me to see. for the box? 1950. Loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. <laughs> what? What do you think? An orphanage for bunnies? The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision was made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. in the box. Let's do it. We're gonna do it. No one's gonna stop us. Something's gonna be at the window, isn't it? Dear diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this, well if it's, if you've been preparing for three years it's not annual. This summer will be special for me. During these days I will bring up real, bring up real people in them but they will also, what? Wait, are we in the... No, the camp got closed before that, right? After a severe thunderstorm, no light in the building. Can you take this too? Oh god. So now we're in a flashback? The doctors made the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant, only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself. That's a bold assumption. Oh. What's it say? I don't know. Definitely looks a little bit nicer. Is this singing my kid? Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her and she was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. Hid the key in the closet? What an asshole. Who's doing this? Oh, key. He did a safe. Where's the safe? You filthy child. Wait, is there a kid in there? Is that what we're hearing? You can't save them. What? There are kids in the vents? What did she do? Did she think that sacrificing a ton of kids would help her? Hmm. So where are we keeping a safe? 
Under the desk? Oh. Need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and returned back. <gasps> You're killing one of the kids to get their heart? We worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. And Alexei Sergei Sergeyevich... It's the same, uh, it's a different spelling, but... Will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical records, Yakov is the ideal donor. I'll set up an accident when no one will look for him. So she wanted... She set up a bunch of... Um, kids to get their kidneys taken without their knowledge. And then in return, one of her own kid would get a heart transplant. Special boy Yakov came to camp. He had no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yakov will help me. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Damn. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door. Go back to the classroom. Holy shit. Oh! Who put it here? Oh god, you don't have a gas? Oh god! Did someone stop me? Mask. Uh. Wait, so she was planning all of that, but then someone gassed her instead. Right? Oh, you're not grabbing your dictionary anymore? Dude, but you gotta get out. So we found her diary. So this is the classroom. Just looks different now. There's the vent. So maybe the breathing we're hearing is coming from the walls. Someone behind it. Definitely is. You know, maybe now is a good time to leave. You know, seriously. You got you found a diary, you unlocked like a cool part of history. Maybe run with that information. Maybe that was the kid we saw sitting at the with the candles. That was like one of the kids that was drugged. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Do we need to find a key? Opening of the youth children's camp. Ah, oh, that's what it says. Ugh, that breathing. Someone calling? Oh, I can take that? Huh. I could take that one. That's different. Dude, seriously. Throw something against the glass and just crawl through between the bars. That would be me, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> be like, I'm the fuck out of here. Oh, I'm collecting items. I don't know why. <laughs> Summer 420, blaze. <laughs> oh, there's a kitty. Oh no, is it dead? No, it's breathing. It's breathing. Kitty, come here. Oh, the carcass is gone. I just realized. Hey, was that there before? You were told to get out of here. Leave this place alone. 
Yeah, I want to. <laughs> there are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Okay. Grab a pen. What are you writing? I know what happened here. Let me help you. Where are you? Oh god. Is he taking it? Stay there. Don't you go anywhere. Oh, the bunny. Jesus. Wait, why is that? Oh no. Is, do you think the door opened? No. So, <laughs> so our guy wants to help or something? Try writing the letter again. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. Why would you? Why would you help someone who killed people? They're even worse after they die <laughs> as a ghost. That door is going to swing open. It scared the fuck out of me. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Ghost kids? It's not fair. What? Wait, I completely missed that one. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what was going on? You want to write another note? Yep. Is your name Yakov? How have you been living here alone for many years? The poor kitty. Maybe Yakov is feeding the cat. way here. Oh, someone's been smoking here. Here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends help me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell that I live here and those people will come for me. Who knocked? How have I not- oh, the bunny. How have I not seen him, though? I've been in that room. Oh no, don't ask that. I'm sure he's gonna be, like, behind you. <laughs> Froggy, thanks so much for the gifted subs, thank you. Or he's gonna be like, 
up. And then you're like, <gasps> they're on the ceiling. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Oh, maybe it's the kid that doesn't speak. Uh, that was... Sp oh, Yakov? Was Wait, did we know that? Sorry, I only just put it together, if so. That's why he's leaving notes, because he can't speak. Oh. All this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? I mean, dude, you read her diary. Oh, I should have zoomed. Ah, oh, fuck. That would have been perfect. So am I starting to see them now? Is Kitty still there? Yeah. Poor Kitty. Just take the cat and run. It's all her. I saw our dire director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go to the rooms. Oh god, dude, what do you look like? How have you been surviving, though? Like, food. Water. Should we write another note? That building, abandoned. Can I get there? Ooh, are we gonna go there? Follow up? That would be cool. I assume he hunted. I guess so, maybe. For a kid, though. Yakov doesn't answer. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. He's tear the boards out the front room. <gasps> you sure they're gonna let us? I guess they are. Can't believe the kid still lives there. So that's why we heard the the ventilation every now and then, because it was Yakov in the walls and the breathing in the walls. Ah. Why did you do that? Dude, just leave on the candle. That's so unnecessary. Okay. Oh, it's chained up. This is where you're gonna find the big bad man. Who's doing all the kidney transplants? This is such a bad idea, dude. Wait, everything is locked though. What? Wait, is there... What? Is someone walking around? Oh. Whoa, what? Oh shit! 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage of the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. Oh, it's changing though. That means we're fucked. Oh god. Shit. What is that sound?
Anyone outside? Hello? How do we open this? My god, it's so dark. <laughs> it's so dark. Hello? Why would you go here? He was out too. He could have just turned back and go home. But no, he just had to go to the hospital. Oh, what the fuck are you? That's not good. No, don't like that. Oh, shit. Orphanage. Doctor at the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking, trafficking for six years. He fraudulently, fraudulently made incorrect diagnosis and performed operations to remove the kidney. Director did not know about this, but he could not continue to lead his position. Orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. Wait, wasn't maybe her son with the heart issue also misdiagnosed then? Maybe he didn't have a heart issue at all. I have an angle <gasps> in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where. Th oh, the door is back. You're lucky. Dude. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, this is your chance. Run. But the front door is missing, so. Unfortunately, no. <laughs> Jesus. So, you wanna open this too? Damn. Hello? Cap here. Got any organs here? Got any organ trafficking going on? I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexei agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Why would you trust him? At all. One second. Trying to see if there's anything in the fridge. Nothing? Here we go. Dude, I, I literally didn't see anything. What? There's that sound again. Sounds like Yakov to me. Okay. Well, the corner's empty. There's a note there, though. How can we get to it? Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no, I'm trapped now. I I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Vanika. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a moment and hide. Dude, you're gonna wake up with a kidney missing. I don't wanna... I don't wanna run into anyone. Hey, where'd the door go? Fuck. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're working there now. <laughs> Just like doing it like over his shoulder. Oh no! The battery ran out. Oh, 
It's making me want to watch Grave Encounters. I like that movie. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, or like her silhouette or shadow. She went into the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move to the closet. I don't want to check if it's true, or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. <laughs> On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. What? I never, I've never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things. I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. And he was never seen again. How do you move this? Hmm. Can you move this one? It really sounds like there's someone's walking there. It's just creepy. Oh, I can open them both. Okay, what are we doing? Ooh, uh. Wait, oh. I was like, wait, how did I get out of here? Did it move? Wait, didn't we need it for here? Oh no, I must be misremembering. I thought we needed it for a different door. It did move? Wait, now this is back. <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> Got me, yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. What does that say? Shower? Oh, the door closed. Oh, fuck. Wait. I was about to say, what's the point of coming here? The oh, it's open now. <gasps> <gasps> Baby. That one hurt my throat. Because I wasn't ready to get scared and I was about to breathe in, suck in air. So my whole body was like... <gasps> <laughs> ah! Jesus. Devil is inside. Was she in me now? Do you think that was the school lady? Wait, I can zoom. Hoi. Hoi. Do you like that? No. Okay. It does connect to here. That's why I thought. Oh, we're moving it? I thought someone else was moving it. Oh, dude, that's some, like, magic shit. You don't want to mess with this. Oh, God. Excuse me? Eh. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Fuck. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me, and I'm not going to leave. I'll be back. Oh, God! <laughs> She's gone! Oh, God, the door's gone, too. Dude, we just... We just switched places. Are these the bodies of the kids, you think?
death certificate. Here are the documents of 1958. Alexei, who, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would lo no longer pra participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question? And who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's someone, something else, a death certificate document. This is her son, Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. Oh, he already died. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. So he died way before. Oh yeah, I had another. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> Holy shit! <sighs> that was not what I wanted to see! Holy shit! Dude, just go. Maybe- oh, maybe stab her with the knife. Oh, never, never mind. I'm out. Oh, it worked. My nose is free. No. <laughs> Three weeks later. Well, we're still alive. No, what? No, why are you back? Jesus, just leave. There's the bunny. I got you in my eyes. I got you in my sight. Uh, it's boarded up again. Yeah, that's the way it was. I feel like you've been talking to ghosts, dude. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you didn't do. You're taking care of everything. Don't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully on your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. I think he was dead way uh he died probably a long time ago i'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique i managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help yako find peace and freedom you can read about this in my blog but we need to move on i'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live and there i will have an unusual case i will tell you about it later that would be a fun blog to follow honestly <laughs> If you get like a good story writer who can write a blog like that and then have someone like just animate or make like these kind of like short trailers of someone going through a haunted house. That would be fun. What was the knife for? Yeah, I don't know. That's good. Got some badass credits too. That was fun. It was, um, it ended up just being all jump scares. I was hoping for, cause I know Craven said it was jump scare heavy, but I was kind of hoping because they said it was so good. I was like, I want some like, I miss those indie horrors that really set the atmosphere and have like slow scares. And I don't know, a lot of indie horrors just refer to like, bah, in your face, you know, which is fine. Like I, I definitely enjoy that from time to time. And this game was good, but. I really miss those games that just set like such a good atmosphere without really like having jump scares in your face. It seems like a lot of games just resort to that nowadays. Yeah, slow scares are my favorite. Or just stuff that like... I also really like just finding a good document in a game that like... Those documents where it's like, I can still hear her scratching the walls or something. And then you can, and then after reading it, you hear scratching on the walls and then you know exactly what it is. That kind of stuff I love. A few days later. So this is the... So is this like a trailer? Is this like a promo for his next game that he's working on? The battery is dead. Oh shit. I had to wait for the person who bought the house, but after his arrival a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. 
I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if our other spirits followed me? Maybe that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I'm not sure what I, that I will be released now. We need to try and get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. I feel like this is a promo for the next thing. Hey, here's the knife again. So I kept it. Um. Hmm. Din 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 din. <laughs> oh! I didn't see you there. <sighs> no. No. Unlocking the door. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God. It's the same lady. So she followed me. Oh, that's cool. So we're gonna get a sequel.